I'm sorry, I meant to surprise you. I sort of lost track of time while I was cleaning up. Oh, you didn't expect all this. It's for you. Oh, thanks, I guess. I picked it up on the way from home from work. Hopefully next year's cape will be bigger. Oh, come on, it's just too fast. The cake is the perfect size, Mom. Thank you. I've got something else for you. This is for you. father's wedding ring. I know you're too young to remember him. Oh, you were so young then. But I thought you might like something to remember him by, since it's your 18th birthday and all. But it's beautiful. Oh, thanks. You sure you want to give this to me? Yeah, it's about time to let those things go. I know it's your 18th birthday now, but would you mind taking out the trash for me? <laughs> Let's just forget about this, okay? Forget about this? 
Mom, this is my business too. I live here more than you practically. Sam, you're being ridiculous. Mom, Mom, I offered to get a job already. Out of the question. You're still in high school. Mom, I can I can handle it myself. You know I've taken on double shifts. I can't put off school for a while. I can help out, you know? No! I want a better future for you. I don't want you ending up like this. I think it's a little too late for that now. Don't you walk away from me while I'm talking to you. You always tell me to focus on school, nothing else matters, right? But maybe if you would have taken your own advice, we wouldn't be in this situation to begin with. If you would just admit that you can't handle this, you're... You have no right to talk to me like that. I don't need anyone's help, especially yours. You're just a kid. What can you do to help? What do you want? Look, we can't do this. You can't just kick us out. We need more time to pay. Listen, it's not my fault your mother fell behind on payments. Why are you even here? Coming over here, screaming at me, when you're the one that should be doing something about it. Okay, look. Please. I'll do whatever. Okay, we need more time to pay. Please. I'm sorry. If you don't have my money by tomorrow, I'm kicking both you guys out. Hold up. So, there's this guy. His name's Pierre. He may be able to find me some work. I don't know work. You're about to ask him. He's, uh, hangs out across the street, all dressed up. You can't miss him. Right. Thank you. Thank you so much. Just, just stay here. I'll be right back with the money, okay? Thank you, sir. Thank you. Don't thank me yet. That's all I deal with, sweetheart. What can Uncle Pierre do for you? Um, look, I, um, I'm, I'm just looking to make some money to help my family out. And I don't really know what I'm doing here. I can't help, but I don't think this is the kind of job you're looking for. What kind of job is it? Listen, I can't help you, but this is not just a job. It is the way things work around here. Now I know you're smart enough to understand that. And all I need you to do is to help some of these lonely guys by keeping them company. Let them get to know you. Wait. Look. I'm giving you an opportunity here. Do you know how many girls come up to me like you do? And just offer this to anybody? And I'm not going to tell you what to do. You're a grown woman. I can see that. Although some people don't think you can make your own decisions, I know you can. And if you don't like it, you can just walk away. But it's up to you. And you alone, sweetheart. So what's it going to be? You're going to be a big girl and do what's right for your family? Or are you just going to stand by and do nothing? Wait.
Hey, hey, Sam, Sam, um, hey, it's your mother. The paramedics oh, came. What happened? She said she died in her apartment. Dear Sam, I started to write this journal to you because I've been missing you since you left that day. I probably should have said this much sooner. After you dropped off the money for our overdue rent that evening, I waited up all night for you to come home, but you didn't. Sam, it's been a while. You still haven't come home. I blame myself. I knew you were always out there watching over me. You kept coming by, slipping money at my door, but never coming in. I thought you might still believe I was still mad at you, but oh, really, I wasn't. I just wanted to see you again, hold you in my arms, tell you how much I miss you. I swore I would catch you the next time you came by to tell you. But no matter how hard I tried to find you, I never could. Sam, it's been years since our argument, and we haven't seen each other. Months passed and I became angry. How could you be so insensitive, so ungrateful? I told myself, you don't even think about what you've been putting me through. I asked myself every day, how could you put me through this? 
Sam, I know how you got the money. I know what you've been doing. You were ashamed. Oh, for this, I blame myself. Sam, I wanted to say I was stubborn. I didn't want to admit that you were right, and I know I could have helped make a better life for us. When your father died, I almost lost all hope. But he made me promise to do everything I could to give you a better chance than he and I had. That's what kept me going through all these years. Sam, I don't know why you're still doing what you're doing. Maybe you're stuck or maybe you feel obligated. But I want you to know that it's okay. I'm not going to hold you back. I don't want this to be the reason you had to make this decision. You don't have to do this anymore. You have a choice. You need to do what's right for you, not what's right for me or for anyone else. I have been saving some money from what you've been giving me in hopes that one day, one day you'll come back home and we can be happy again. Samantha, I love you. <laughs>